Help it. From the conspiracy of left-handed presidents to a taxi driver who killed two brothers in two separate incidents, we count 15 weird coincidences that actually happened. Number 15. Two falling babies saved by the same man. In 1937, a young, super responsible Detroit mother somehow dropped her baby out of a fourth story building. A local street sweeper named Yosef Figlock happened to be walking underneath at the same time and was struck in the head and the shoulders by the falling infant. Miraculously, the baby lived, though he and Figlock sustained injuries. The following year, a different, though equally careless mother allowed her two year old son, David Thomas, to plummet from a high rise window. Yosef Figlock, who was sweeping in an alley trying to make his beautiful city shine, was again struck in the head and again neither he nor the child were killed. Must have been quite a catch this Figlock character, or women can't seem to help throwing their children at him. Number 14. Left-handed President's Conspiracy Only about 10% of the US population are left-handed, but you'd never know it by looking at the American presidents. More than half of the last 14 presidents were lefties, including five of the last seven. What's especially interesting about this is that during the 18th and 19th centuries, left-handedness was considered a punishable disability. Kids were actually forced to be right-handed until the 1970s, so it would have been very difficult for many of these presidents to excel with this setback. Will you vote for a lefty in the next election? You may not have a choice. Over the past two decades, nearly every presidential candidate has been left-handed. In 2008, both Barack Obama and John McCain were left-handed. And in 1992, all three candidates for president were lefties. It's been speculated that these left-handed monsters are actually a super secret race who rule over the other 90% of society. Certainly would explain a few things, like why the flusher on the toilet's always on the left side. Then when you sit down, the toilet paper's on your left side again. No wonder so many presidents are left-handed, they save so much time in the bathroom. Number 13. Hugh Williams, professional shipwreck survivor. Planning an ocean voyage anytime soon? Here's a fun fact, there have been millions of shipwreck casualties throughout history. However, if your name is Hugh Williams, you can sleep easy knowing nothing in Neptune's ocean can possibly harm you. Check this, in 1660, a ship sank in the Dover Straits. A man named Hugh Williams was the only survivor. In 1767, a second ship sank in the same area. The only survivor was another Hugh Williams. In 1820, a ship capsized on the Thames. The only survivor was a man named Bruce Hancock. Just kidding, he died. It was Hugh Williams. Finally, in 1940, a ship was destroyed by a German mine. Only two survived, a man and his nephew, both named, QX Files Music, Hugh Williams. Number 12. Deus Ex Twin Towers Omen. How's this for a spooky omen? During the production of the critically acclaimed 2000 PC game Deus Ex, the Skybox artist neglected to include the Twin Towers to the New York City skyline. Some reports say he plain forgot, or according to another explanation, memory constraints made it impossible to render the towers, so they had to be written out of the game's fiction. Now what really seals this as fucking creepy is that the in-game explanation for the discrepancy was a terrorist attack. Unless the developers had a crystal ball, there's no way they could have known how prescient this detail was. Number 11. Brotherly Moped Suicide Pact In 1975, while riding a moped in Bermuda, a man was accidentally struck and killed by a taxi. Fortunately, it taught the world a lesson about how dangerous mopeds are and no one ever rode one again. Just kidding. A year later, the man's brother was killed the very same way. He was even riding the same moped, which they'd presumably just finished repairing. And in case your jaw has a little bit more room to drop, the brother was struck by the very same taxi driven by the same driver. Nope, not finished yet. He was even carrying the same passenger. Number 10. John F. Kennedy and Abraham Lincoln Coincidences America's most beloved presidents had a whole laundry list of things in common. It actually transitions from cool to creepy after about the fifth one. Maybe they had the same stylist and he was a time lord. I don't know how else to account for some of these. Firstly, Abraham Lincoln was elected to Congress in 1846, while John F. Kennedy was elected a century to the year. Lincoln won his election in 1860, with his inauguration being held in 1861, while Kennedy won his election in 1960, with his inauguration following early 1961. Both were shot in the back of the head in front of their wives on a Friday, and Lincoln was shot in Ford's theater, while Kennedy was shot in a Lincoln which was made by Ford. And the creepiest coincidence of all, Lincoln and Kennedy both have seven letters in their name. What? That one's lame? You're lame! Number 9. Franz Ferdinand's Assassination Omen Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria was assassinated in a car that had a license plate that read AIII-118. This is remarkable because the war that resulted from this act ended with an armistice on the 11th of November 1918. 
Effectively, the plate was coded like a premonition. A for Armistice, 11, 11, 18. Spooky. Number 8. Message in a Bottle Face-Off. In 2006, fisherman Mark Anderson, who was manning the fishing boat Copious, found a 92-year-old message in a bottle. The discovery landed him a spot in the Guinness Book of World Records for having the oldest message in a bottle ever recovered. Being a fisherman, Anderson enjoyed bragging to his friend Andrew Lepper about his new find. Lepper quickly tired of Anderson's bragging and probably wanted to shove the bottle where the sun doesn't shine. Six years later, while manning the copious off the Scottish coast, skipper Andrew Lepper won up the braggart Anderson by finding his own message in a bottle. This time, one that had floated aimlessly at sea for an incredible 98 years. Lepper then took Anderson's spot in the record book, leaving Anderson with much less to brag about. Number 7. James Dean's Car Cruise In 1955, Hollywood heartthrob and causeless rebel James Dean was killed in a horrific car accident while driving around in his Porsche. The car was later considered to be a bad luck omen. Case in point, when the car was towed from the accident and taken to a garage, the engine slipped out onto a mechanic shattering both of his legs. The engine was eventually bought by a wealthy doctor who used it to soup up his racing car. He died shortly after during a race. Another driver died in the very same race and his car had James Dean's drive shaft fitted into it. The garage where Dean's Porsche was repaired was later destroyed by a fire. The car was then displayed in Sacramento but somehow fell off its mount breaking a teenager's hip. In Oregon, the trailer the Porsche was mounted on slipped from its tow bar smashing into his shop front. Finally, in 1959, the car mysteriously broke into 11 pieces while sitting on steel supports. So who wants to buy a piece of James Dean's car on eBay? I'm sure you'll find a fair price, I mean, what could go wrong? Number 6. King Umberto's Double The Classic Doppelganger Story In Monza, Italy, King Umberto I felt like hitting up a restaurant in town for dinner. Accompanied by his general aide, he found one that fit the bill. But when the owner of the restaurant took his order, the king noticed that they were virtual doubles in face and build. They began discussing the striking resemblance and discovered many more similarities. Both men were born on the same day of the same year in the same town. Each married a woman named Margherita, and the restaurateur opened his restaurant on the same day that King Umberto was crowned King of Italy. On the 29th of July 1900, King Umberto was informed that the restaurateur had died that day from a mysterious shooting accident. While mourning this loss, the king was then assassinated by an anarchist in the crowd. The obvious explanation here is that there were doubles from parallel universes. The so-called anarchists are clearly stopping a multiverse invasion. At least to me, it's pretty obvious that King Umberto is in league with the Anti-Monitor. Number 5. The Curse of the Dragon Martial arts superstar and serial shirt ripper Bruce Lee unwittingly predicted the cause of his son's death with the plot of his final movie. Enter the Dragon was released in 1973, two decades before the death of Lee's son Brandon. In the film, Lee's character is killed when a prop gun is substituted for a real one, causing him to take an actual bullet by mistake. Lee's son would later be killed when a prop gun misfired on the set of The Crow. Strange coincidence, considering this is hardly a common cause of death. A movie was also made about Bruce's life. In Dragon the Bruce Lee story, Bruce battles a metaphorical demon that haunts his family. During the final confrontation, the malevolent spirit loses interest in Bruce and instead targets his son. Creepy thing is, Brandon was alive and well when they shot the movie. The idea that Brandon was the demon's next target was written and shot two months before his freak accident. The film's director, Robert Cohen, believes that Brandon's death was fated to happen. Could be onto something. Number 4. Bullet reaches its destiny years later. In 1883, Henry Zieglin was supposed to die. He'd been shot in the face by the enraged brother of the girlfriend he just abandoned. The devastated girl had committed suicide and the brother wished for Zieglin to pay with his blood. Believing he had killed Zieglin, the brother then took his own life. Apparently, suicidal urges run deep in this family. However, his quest for vengeance went unfulfilled because Zieglin lived. Miraculously, the bullet had only grazed his face and then lodged into a tree. Zieglin thought he was the luckiest man alive. He definitely wasn't the smartest though because years later he returned to the scene of his near death and decided to cut down the large tree which still had the bullet in it. When the task proved too difficult, he decided to do what any normal person would do. Blow it up with a few sticks of dynamite. The explosion propelled the lodge bullet out of the tree and into Zieglin's head, killing him. But considering this guy had access to dynamite, it was only a matter of time before he died anyways. This was just kind of ironic. I'm sure they're all in hell right now, just laughing it up. Number 3. Poker winnings go to unsuspecting son. In 1858, a British man named Robert Fallon was shot dead by his poker rivals who suspected him of cheating. 
felon had racked up a $600 pot with his dishonest tactics, and that's $600 in 1858 money, so you can count inflation on that. So we're talking about $20,000 today, if not more. In those days, players were superstitious about taking money that had been won by cheating, so the gamblers gave it to the first person who passed the saloon. The new player agreed to take Fallon's place and was stacked with the dead man $600. Against all expectations, the new player turned the $600 into a cool two grand. Police soon arrived to investigate the murder and demanded that the original $600 be passed on to Fallon's next of kin. That's when everyone discovered that the new player was actually Fallon's estranged son who had not seen his father in nearly a decade. Hard to tell if that's luck or misfortune. Number two to Mr. Bryson's same hotel room. A man inadvertently booked the same hotel room as someone who shared his exact name. While taking a business trip sometime in the late 1950s, George D. Bryson checked into the Brown Hotel in Louisville, Kentucky. After signing the register and being handed the key to his room, room 307, he stopped by the mail desk presumably to chat up the receptionist and to see if any mail had arrived for him. There was a letter waiting for him, and the mail girl handed it to him. The envelope was addressed to Mr. George D. Bryson, room 307. What made it odd is that the letter wasn't for him, it was for room 307's previous occupant, a man who had just checked out, another George D. Bryson. Just think of all the missed potential for credit card fraud. Number 1 Twin brothers killed on same road two hours apart In 2002, a pair of 70-year-old twin brothers died within hours of each other following separate accidents on the same northern Finland road. The first twin died when he was struck by a lorry while riding his bike during a blizzard in Ray, a town 600 kilometers north of Helsinki. He was crossing Highway 8 at the time, but is now probably crossing the River Styx. The second twin died just one and a half kilometers from where his brother was killed. He was also killed by a lorry, only two hours later while attempting to cross the very same highway. The second brother couldn't have been aware of the first brother's death as the police were still trying to identify the victim. A Finnish police officer described it as a historic coincidence. They said that although the road is busy, accidents don't occur on it every day, let alone separate deaths of twin brothers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.